Hello, Who's everybody. Hello. I always feel weird whenever I first get on and there's no one here and we're like, what's up? Hey, everyone. And there's like, no one. <laughs> but, ooh. ooh. I, forgot, I, forgot to put, I forgot to put my lip gloss on. <laughs> Um, no, lip gloss. Be proper. Hold on. I'll go get I'm it. not ready. I'll get it. No, I got it. <sighs> Actually, I don't know where it is. Anyways, so <laughs> it's just me. What's up, guys? No. Thanks to everybody who signed in to uh, me and Jules live. That was fun. I'll be honest. I'm not. Okay. I'm a little. Uh, okay. So I, every time I have like a Big Brother legend on, I always get a little nervous. But y'all, um, Zach is like really cute. <laughs> So I'm looking good. I'm like, mm, okay. Yeah. And I'm not the only one that thinks that. I got a lot of comments from you thirsty girls asking about his relationship status. Thirsty. Um, anyways, so um, if y'all um, can see by the hat, tonight I have Zach Rantz coming on, which super excited. Um, he's like one of the iconic big brother characters. So every time like an iconic big brother person comes on my life, I get so starstruck. And I don't know how I got so lucky to like have these people want to like talk to me, but they do. So yeah. So anyway, so I hope he thinks I'm cool. We'll see. Um, oh wow. Anastasia says that his Wi-Fi hopefully it works because last night he didn't say the life was walkie. Well, I see all well, the better hope it works because otherwise you're stuck with me. Yeah, That's fair enough. Not a win for anybody. Trust me. I just oh. like for an hour. Baby Lexi, we have so many Fruit Loop dingus questions. It's like unreal. I think he's in. <laughs> oh, he is? Oh, okay. I think he is. Someone said he was earlier. Oh. Let me see. Oh, he is. Oh, there he is. Yeah, Let's see. Now we wait. <gasps> Hello. Are you wearing a Snuggie? Yo. What's up, fam? Are you wearing a Snuggie? Uh, no, it's just a blanket. <laughs> I thought you like had like a full on snuggie on. Why are you like, touching snuggie? No, I'm not. I was about to say like I like your style. But oh, speaking you. of style, nice ass. hat. I love it. Yeah, I yeah, was um, kind of hoping that you'd be wearing your hat. What'd you say? Sorry. I said you're a Fruit Loop dingus. Oh my gosh! Okay, wait. You are ahead of. You're ahead of the game. Okay, I'm actually really starstruck that you just called me a Fruit Loop dingus. <laughs> and you didn't have to pay 65 bucks on Cameo either. Your Cameos are $65? Yeah. I'm about to raise the prices too. Why? Why what? Why $65? I, I thought that's like how much they are. How much, mine how much mine are you, $10. Yours are $10? Yeah. Yeah, but I will say right now I'm unbookable because I got so many cameo requests that I couldn't keep up. And we have, so, we have, have that's, so that's many why you have to raise yeah. cameos, cameos during man. Quarantine. You can't do cameos for ten dollars. What I, I well, I, no, I, but you people okay, so, to sleep with you too. Well, at first, well, they're usually thirty-five, huh? Nothing. Go ahead. Do you think What's it's that? Is that, you just ask if they get to sleep with me? Well, I said your cameos are ten dollars. Oh, so what? I, I only have to take you on one date to sleep with you. Yeah. Oh, okay. All That's right, how great. it works. Is, okay. that, is that not how it works for you? Uh, I mean, like, if I'm I want. Totally I totally I'm totally kidding. Okay. Maybe that's a little bit more. That's that's a $20 cameo yeah. for sure. Okay. okay. But Zach, your Wi-Fi is wonky. Is it wonky right now? Yeah, I can't even see you. You're blurry. Really? Cause yeah, coming, and the ladies I'm are wanting to see you. It is? Well, yeah. wait. Check. Check your Wi-Fi just really quick. I have sure. I have full bars. You have full. Oh, maybe it's my Wi-Fi. No, uh, it's whack. Oh, uh, it's whack. It's Is whack. it really that bad? Mm-hmm. And I was just kidding. Uh, about, right, I was just kidding you. about the sleep with you. This stuff. is what you look like. Oh my god, I look terrible. <laughs> no, you look Zach, like Zach, witness you, protection. Zach, you still look handsome, but I, you look I, more handsome when you're clear. In? Should I come off and come back in or what? Uh, I think we'll. It, check your like scroll down and check your Wi-Fi and sometimes okay. if you turn it off unless you want to be blurry it looks like I'm in there. Oh, no. no damn dang wait that, that actually might be better hmm wait move talk hmm 
it's better. Yeah. It's better. Okay, it's better. Yes, it, you are good. Wow, okay. you All right, really let me are know if I come in the first day. <laughs> okay. Oh, Angela's here. Oh, thanks, Rockstar. I, I don't know why I just called her Angela. Okay, anyway, so Zach, we're just going to yeah. jump right in. Let's um, do it. So, as you notice, my ode to you. Mm -hmm. um, I, so first of all, I, as you saw in my story, I ask fans ahead of time for questions because I'm really bad at reading the questions as they come up on here. So mm -hmm. I have all sorts of questions. Oh, wow. You're very you popular. very prepared. I know. No. Okay. I, nice. Yeah, this is a, like we, we run a tight ship here, Zach. <laughs> but I will say that WC Bookstore wants to know if you still rock the pink hat. Which do I still rock? Don't. I I don't rock the pink hat. I retired the pink hat. It's should I should, should I take this off? No, you actually look really good in the pink hat. Stop hitting on me! Oh my gosh! No, did, <laughs> Buy a twenty dollar no, camera first of all. Hat. I'm kidding. Okay, but and I was actually I was gonna go into the Fruit Loop Dingus stuff later, like once. Okay. We got more warmed up, but you brought it up. So I'm just going to knock out literally all of these Fruit Loop Dingus questions. Okay. Um, okay, well, Madison, Madison05 actually said, can you say you're Fruit Loop Dingus, which you did. There you go. <laughs> Give it to people what they want. Um, also, I'm curious about this. Bray Dinty Moore asked, is Cat a Fruit Loop Dingus? Cat is absolutely a Fruit Loop Dingus. <laughs> Wait, but what does that mean? Like, wait, actually, no. And I have a question about this. T Scully ninety six asked, "What is a fruit loop dingus?" I I never tell people what a fruit loop dingus is. It it's whatever you want it to be, but it's like you're it's like you're an idiot. Like you're just a fruit loop. Dingus. Wait, so you're saying I'm an idiot? Well, like I can't like say a definition without people getting offended. Like any definition I give, people are gonna get offended. But if you call them a fruit loop no, dingus, fruit loop they don't get offended. Dingus, and they, really it's funny. like a compliment. It's like, it's like the charming way of like saying, hey, you're an idiot. But you're, it's not an idiot. That's just the most simple way to explain it in layman's terms. A Fruit Loop Dingus is just, you're just a Fruit Loop Dingus. You're just like a, a dingus. Okay, so, <laughs> so I'm slightly offended, but also still it's a very, I'm fanny, I'm fangirling over the fact that I'm, that you called me a Fruit Loop Dingus, so I'll let it pass. Mm -hmm. But um, did you watch season 21? No. You didn't? That's the, that was last season. You were on last season. That yeah. Did? I did not watch it. So do you know who I am? I know who you are. I, I know you were on Big Brother, obviously. I watched, did I watch? Honestly, like, I didn't watch any, anything, honestly. Well, it's really funny because my mom is a huge fan of Big Brother. Yeah. Like, two of my best friends are huge fans of Big Brother. And they text me all the time, like, oh, my God, did you watch? And I'm like, no, I didn't watch. Um... And, and I can talk about like why I don't watch, but to answer your question, I did not watch. No, I know that J Jackson won, right? That was yeah. like, last season. Jackson. Yeah. Won. Yeah. So what right. I, I was gonna I was gonna ask you who from my season besides me is a Fruit Loop Dingus. Uh, but if you didn't watch, who besides you is a Fruit Loop Dingus? I think you're probably the biggest the Fruit Loop Dingus. Of the Loop from BB21. If I had to say, you're probably the biggest Fruit Loop Dingus from BB21. But um, who else is it? Who else is I don't it? know if I'm supposed to be offended or not. Honestly, I only know, like, I only, the only people I genuinely remember from the season, and I hope other people don't get offended. It's just, like, I didn't watch. Christy's is, in here, so you better say you, Christy. I know you and Nick. You and Nick. Yeah. I know Jackson and Holly. Okay. Isabella was on that season. Yeah. Okay. She's a fruit loop dingus. Uh, uh, Kemi was on that season? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, um, who's the guy that, like, got out first? Uh, don't tell me his name. Uh, not Glenn. Um, what was his name? His name not was Glenn! What he was from Arkansas. He was from Arkansas. Um, well, okay, so David got banished. David, David. First. Okay. But then Ov got evicted first. Ov, I remember Ov. Okay, I remember yeah. Ov. Yeah. Well, whatever. Is that that's neither here nor there? Why? Why don't you watch? Why don't I, I watch? Your why you wouldn't watch your season? Because well, I haven't watched my season. I'll tell you why I don't watch. Because I never watched in the first place prior to being on Big Brother. I never watched it. Oh. I was twenty three 
when I watched it for the first time, I watched Big Brother 15 with my mom. Yeah. And I was watching the show and I said, all these people on this show are not entertaining. They're not funny. And I would, if I went on the show, I would probably do really well. Yeah. And my mom said, well, if you think you're such a slick cat, then go on the show. And I said, and, fine, I'll, and are I'll you go a on the show. Cat? I tried out for the show. I got on the show. I had the best summer of my entire life. It was literally the best 70 days of my entire life. Um, and then after the show, I didn't really keep up with it. I, I was, I had like a super big ego. Like I became a huge douchebag after the show and I was like super narcissistic. And I was like, Oh, like these people aren't as good as me when I was on the show. And I started being a huge hater. I started being a huge hater of big brother. Like I would talk shit Are about you big brother. The one behind I, all the troll accounts then. Yeah. Well, I would talk shit about big brother. I would, I would say like things I didn't really mean at the time. Um, and then this is this is really the reason why I don't watch Big Brother is I don't watch TV at all, really. I don't watch Zach! Any, I don't watch any oh TV. The gosh, only show Zach. the only show I kind of watch is 90 Day Fiance. Zach. Are we the same typecast? Because I don't watch TV either. I don't watch TV. Are we meant to be? I mean maybe. <gasps> we can just sit around and not watch TV. Wait, okay, so I don't watch TV. I don't watch 90 Day Fiance though. Okay, it's hilarious. No, so you got that one up on me. Um, yeah, I, I don't either. I had to buy a TV so I could binge watch Big Brother before going on the show. Wow. Interesting. Wow. I've yeah. never, I didn't know that people like us existed. Hmm. I just can't sit still. I don't, I don't enjoy, like, being unproductive watching television. I'd rather read a book and learn something new or... Okay, well, you got me on the book. I don't, I, I, I don't read books, but I'm yeah. the same way. Yeah. Wow. That's us. Wow. We're two peas in a pod. We didn't even know it. Oh my gosh, we are two peas in a pod. Wow, look at us. Um, okay, wait, so, gosh, this is going, I, Where? what question should I go to next? This is already rocking my world. Okay, yeah. let's talk quarantine. Um, okay. Allie Stewart, who by the way, it's her birthday. She wanted to know, and this is actually a very good question because you just told us that you don't watch TV. So what do you do to keep yourself busy? Besides coming on my life. Well, I'll tell you. Today, I woke up at 7.15 and I meditated for 20 minutes. And then I went oh. to the beach for an hour and a half. Then I had an appointment at 10. And then I did work on my computer. I'm a real estate agent, if you didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, I know that. So I have I work, research. Yeah, I have three so pages I, of notes for nothing. Okay. And then I worked from home for like three hours. I had two more appointments from like two to four. And then I came home. I actually took an, it was so nice outside. It was like 70 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. So I just opened up my windows and I took a nap on the couch for an hour. Wow. Yeah. And then I woke up, I ate dinner at six o'clock, had an ice cream bar. And then, nice. and then I read my book for like 45 minutes and then now I'm here with you. So wow. what if I, so what, what, the, um, what book are you reading? Uh, well, I just finished the book. I'm about to start. Jay Z's biography actually is the next. Ooh, one. I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like um, biographies. I actually, do what? I like reading biographies because this is the thing. Like, there are so many incredible stories of people who have accomplished so many like incredible things in life yeah. that we don't know about. Like, I didn't know who Nelson Mandela was for the first twenty-five years of my life. How? And, and I feel like <laughs> How did you not know? Who I know it's, it's screwed up. It's very screwed up. And I, there's other people's stories. So I need to learn about because it inspires me to be a better person every single day. So okay. I, I like reading. I wasn't going to jump into conspiracy theories with you just yet. But okay. since you brought up Nelson Mandela, uh -huh. do you know what the Mandela effect is? Uh, the Mandela effect? I don't know. I could probably guess what it is. What, it, what do you think it is? Well, the Mandela effect, and I could be completely wrong. I'm just going to take a stab at it. But I think the Mandela effect is like taking power away from your enemy by not caring what they do to you. Shit, that's like way more badass than it actually is. Oh, what is it then? I like your I like yours better actually. But okay. um, no, but it, so it's okay. Do do you remember the wait? How old are you? Twenty nine. Okay, same. Kind how old of, are I'm you? Thirty. 30. Okay, cool. But, uh, but if anyone asks, I'm 25. Um, okay. You look 25. Thank you, Botox. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. But uh, well, actually, I'm not kidding. But okay, <laughs> do you remember the movie Shazam with Sinbad? Yes. Do you really remember it, or you like? Did you see I it? I remember the movie Sinbad. Do I remember watching the movie or any of the content? Absolutely not. Okay. Zach, I'm about to blow. To. I'm about to blow your mind. Blow it. Blow it. That movie doesn't exist. Okay. It, like that movie never happened. But so many people remember that movie. Like they're like, oh yeah, I remember seeing Sinbad in a genie costume. It's you know Shazam. What actually it was, was there was a movie called Kazam with, was it Shaq? Shaq. It was Shaq. Shaq. So there's Kazam with Shaq, but Shazam with Sinbad never happened. That's what they call the Mandela effect. Because also, um, so Nelson Mandela died in 2013, but when he died, everyone was like, wait, I thought that he died in like the 80s. Like people remember Nelson Mandela dying in the 80s, but for some, but, like, but it's like, there's no proof of it. They just remember it. So... Anyways, the, uh, I don't know if you have any conspiracies, but the Mandela effect is supposedly proof that we either live in an alternate universe, like a dip, like there's this, another universe going on at the same time yeah. as us, but we're like yeah. either like later or before, and someone's like messing with the whatever, or we're living in a simulation. Yeah, I think it's actually both. To be honest with you, there Do you is really? like yeah, no, no, I like that. I like that the conversation is going this way. So there is an alternate universe. Because there's no Are you way. With me? No, no, I'm not. Are you I'm really being, believe I'm being 100 percent genuine and sincere as I okay. as I say this. So there's absolutely an alternate universe because there's no way in hell that Earth is the only planet. No, oh, there's no. Right. No, there's no okay. way. There's no way. Right. No. So with that being said, and the fact that listen, if we haven't even discovered half of the ocean, which is like. 80% of our No, 70% of the ocean is unexplored. Okay, right. So we haven't even explored over 30% of the ocean. How the No, 70%. Hell... Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. So like, we only, yeah, the... right. yeah, yeah, right, right. So, <sighs> so how the hell have we even understood a fraction of what's in the galaxy, in the solar system? And there's multiple solar systems in the galaxy. So we really know absolutely nothing. With that being said, coming full circle to the point yeah, is that there's absolutely, absolutely another planet yeah. out there that we don't know about that has life. Now, does it have human life? Maybe. Does it have any type of life? Absolutely. Well, no, it has either. No. Okay. Well, you know, the types of aliens, reptilians, tall whites, the grays, the okay. little green men. Right. Right. And, and what's, what's also as crazy is that, you know, there are dolphins and birds and trees that all have life these things grow and die just like humans but just just because we can write like language makes us better than them absolutely not we came here after birds after dinosaurs after there was already life here the earth belongs to them and we're just coming here to fuck shit up right and we are wait okay so so you believe in aliens fucking shit up so you believe in aliens absolutely Zach, I, okay, I'm just gonna say right here, I don't know why I thirsted over Brett all of BB21 when I think he might be my soulmate. <laughs> it's possible. Because we both don't have a TV, we both live in aliens. Wow. Yeah. Wow. We just have everything in common. Dang. Who knew? We're definitely the same podcast. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> okay, wait, so, um, okay, actually, so Anastasia Christoffi. She asked, what was the catalyst that brought you into the mental health motivational meditation tips? What, a great, what a great question. I'm so happy that she asked that question. So after Big Brother, this is full transparency. And, yeah, and be transparent. Here. Yeah, I, I have nothing to hide. Um, after Big Brother, I thought I was really cool. And I had a lot of followers on Instagram and I was like, wow, I'm better than other people because I have more followers. And I was getting paid like pretty good money just to show up and take pictures places and do wow. retreats. And, you know, I was getting some good checks and I had money on the calendar and I had followers and I thought I was better than my friends. And I thought I was better than other people because I had a lot of it's, stuff. I, I can see how that happens. Like kind of, yeah. you, it's like your first taste of like celebrity life. Yeah. So I thought I was better than everyone. And then once BB17 came around and my bookings email went dry and people stopped caring about me as much, 
I got severe, like, pretty much severely depressed. And I was in my room. And I just sat in my room and I just was like smoking weed every single day. And I was very depressed. And I was like, oh my God, why don't people want to pay me $8,000 to do meet and greets anymore? 8,000? Why are people people paying me $5,000 for Instagram campaigns anymore? Like I'm actually cool, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, wait a second, like, no. I just was extremely narcissistic and I was a huge douchebag to everyone because of Big Brother. And and honestly, I take full responsibility for all my actions and all my mistakes and all my decisions I've made. I actually, I think it's very respectable that you admit this. Cause there's a lot of people that I think fall into this. Honestly, a, they, Big Brother doesn't prep us for life after Big Brother. No. They just, they, they kind of do, like they kind of give you a heads up, but they don't. Really, yeah. like, and I mean, I also, are out there. And, and, I think and this is the thing, too. It's like, when I got off Big Brother, I was like, oh, this is just the beginning. Like, I'm going to be, you know, partying with Justin Bieber. Like, I am famous. I am, you know, and I just thought I was famous. And I thought I was going to get more famous as time went on. Yeah. But actually, I just got less famous as time got on, mm-hmm. as time went on. So I got really depressed. And then, um, and then I started learning about, what was going on in my head and mm-hmm. i started becoming really conscious about my thoughts and being like wait a second um i think i've i've just been a huge douchebag to everyone and i'm not better than everyone because i had followers and i there were times where i wish i just didn't even go on big brother and i'm like i wish i didn't have yeah and ev- listen everything happens for a reason and the reason why that happened is the reason why i am who i am today yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't change anything for the world and while i was on big brother i had a great time but to answer that person's question, um, that like year and a year after Big Brother of me being a huge douchebag to everyone and being really narcissistic and pretentious is the best word. Like I thought I was better than everyone yeah. uh, just because I was on TV because I got lucky to be on Big Brother. But um, and then I re- got super depressed and then I started realizing I was being depressed and then. I just put one foot in front of the other foot every single day. And now, you know, I'm here. So I'm alive, which is great. So I want to, because you just talked about, I guess, the negative side of life after Big Brother. And I like to keep it positive in here. So one of my favorite questions to ask people is, how did Big Brother change your life for the better? Oh, my God. In, in so many reasons, so many ways. Had it changed my life for the better? Um, honestly, just having that experience mm-hmm. was so I feel the same way. Like just being with Frankie in the house for three months and learning about, it, it's so crazy when you live with people who live such a different life. Mm-hmm. I mean, I live here in South Florida and everyone here is rich and superficial and materialistic and um, meeting like cowboys and like, Donnie, who's just a groundskeeper in the middle of Egypt of North Carolina, and just sharing dinner with them every night and Mm -hmm. being able to experience the competitions. And what was your favorite competition that you competed in? My favorite competition? Oh my God. They they all were terrible. I didn't win any of them. (laughs) Uh, my favorite competition. But sometimes it's like Otev was my favorite. I lost and then I got evicted. Oh, it's Otev, still my favorite. Actually, Otev was my favorite too. Yeah. Yeah, Otev was my favorite. I won Otev actually. You said you didn't win any of them. What I the know, because I, I was bad at competition. Since my season, there was Battle of the Block. I don't know if it was on your season or not. No, it was it? Okay, it was. It was called Battle of the Block, and there were four nominees every single week. And for some reason, I was always put on the block. So I, I competed a lot and I always, I always lost my battle of the blocks. But the one time, well, this is the thing, like Big Brother is extremely manipulative and they rig everything. You think? Uh, what? <laughs> oh my God. Wait, I that think? Was, was Helen pushed? What? 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 Was Helen pushed? I don't know who Helen is and I have no idea what you're referring to. Oh my gosh. Okay. Google. When, not now because we're okay. blogging. Right. But okay, so there's video footage of this girl doing the wall comp. Her name's Helen. Okay. Um, she's doing the wall comp and you see like under the feet like a producer walk by and then she falls. So it's a huge conspiracy in the big brother world. Oh, that's Why not, am I? I can give you so much 
so many examples. You on if Helen is pushed. Listen, I can give you so many examples of why it's rigged. Do you want me to give you the examples? No, but okay, but okay, Zach, I will say, first of all, keep in mind that I'm still under contract by CBS, so I don't want to get sued. But okay. also, but I can tell you, if it was rigged, they wouldn't have, they would have done like a Pandora's box at the end of me and Cliff's, like the week that me and Cliff were on the block, they would have rewound it. Because I'll be honest, production loved me. I love them. But if it was rigged, they would have kept me. You know what I mean? No. Not it's, to sound, I don't know if I sound nervous right now, but I just, am, you know, realistically, yeah. Not everything is in their control, obviously. And I have no idea what the Pandora's box was and what you're talking about, but. Zach, there why? Were... How, Zach, I'm a recruit. How am I schooling? How? Well, I guess you were, you just, I yeah. Don't, I, don't wow. watch I feel, I feel like a Big Brother super fan right now. <laughs> let, let me, let me, let me give you an example of why it's real. Okay, yeah, tell me what, tell me your reasons. All right, so first of all, the easy, the easiest thing I can describe, I mean, there's like three, like, blatant ways of Big Brother being rigged. The first okay. one's OTEV. So I was on the blog, and I don't know if they wanted me to stay or not, but as we're going to the platforms, uh, they're telling us which place to stand at. Yeah. And they say, Zach, you're there. Christine, you're there. Nicole, you're there. Donnie, you're there. Caleb, you're there. Uh, and I was on the end. And on the end of the podium or of the stage, whatever you want to call it, I was able to see over all of the drinks because we had to grab the drinks and bring them back for OTEP, right? You, you got to find the thing and you got to bring back. So I yeah. literally had a perfect visual. I had a perfect view of the entire field. And I said, there's a Devin one, there's an Amber one, there's a Pal one, whatever. And I was like, wait a second, like, how did I get so lucky? Because this is the thing, Kat. All right, let me explain yeah. something to you. Let me explain something to you. Okay. You just got off Big Brother, what, eight months ago, whatever it was. So yeah. you still don't realize, you, you, you'll, you'll have dreams and you'll have things replay in your mind. Like, oh, I know, oh, I definitely God, do. now it makes sense. So it takes time to really realize, like, like how it's rigged. So... Perfect example, just like that. I could see every single one. But Donnie over there and Nicole over there, like, they can't see any of them. How come I get to see every single one? So when they said, okay, go find an amber, I was like, there's one right there. Everyone else is looking for it in the bushes and, like, crawling through the mud looking for it. And I'm like, there's an amber, a debit, and I'm the only person that can see it. Okay? But, and, wait, but what? do you think, because, okay, because I'll be honest, there's a lot of competitions, for instance, like, the, uh, the competition that I won, the haunting of Caitlin Herman, I just happened to be really good at puzzles. And that's, like, there was no rigging at all. Actually, like, I, the lot, it was honestly, if anything, it was rigged against me because with the lighting back there, like, me, like, I was the color blue and my friend Jess was the color purple. And with the lighting, it all looked the same. So I was basically picking up Jess's blocks for her in addition to mine um, because it was like, it, but there's some things that just come naturally to people. So maybe like you, the way that you think, you are more likely to see, like maybe, you know what I mean? Like maybe you yeah. are more likely to pick up on things quickly than other people. So that's why they're digging through things. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. All right. So here's the next oh. example, which is it, honestly. I'm exposed. So everything that turned off. And anyone that disagrees. Anyway, anyway, long story short. So uh, it was Battle of the Block. And um, we all were turning against Frankie because Frankie, Frankie was in every every single alliance possible. He had an alliance yeah. with this person. He was in the big alliance, whatever. So Frankie told the HOH at the time, Nicole, to put me up, to put me and Caleb up, right? And we found this out. So we so we all got together in the bathroom. And we're like, dude, we got to get Frankie out. He's like, he's a liar. He's a backstabber, whatever. Um, and we went up to Nicole, the HOH room, we're like, yo, listen, we're going to throw the competition. So put us on the block. We'll, we'll, or put Caleb on the block with Frankie. We're going to throw the competition so then we can vote Frankie out. Whatever, okay? They're in the backyard building the competition, okay? Yeah. House guests, the competition's at 4 o'clock. Or house guests, the competition's later today. We're like, all right, cool. Oh, they didn't even tell us. They just listen, us. it gets better. It gets better. All right, great, great, great. Five hours go by, six hours go by, 12 hours go by. We're like, what, what's going on here? Literally, they took down, they set up an entire competition in the backyard. They took down the entire competition to build a completely different one. There, there was even like, oh my God, what is that? Oh, wait. Yeah, that's, sorry, the ice oh, machine. There you go. Derek, Derek was even like, are they bringing down the competition? Because we hear them building it and then we waited and we're like ready in our stuff to go out and compete. And then they literally take it completely down. They built a new competition. It ends up being this competition where you have to like 
bring a ball up and it's kind of like a pinball. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So long story short, um, Caleb has this long monologue about how Frankie's a backstabber and how he's sitting this competition out, right? Yeah. And Frankie's like, you can't sit it out, blah, 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 blah. And then, uh, and then they reveal the competition and Caleb's like, oh no, you know what? I'm not gonna sit it out and I'm gonna, I'm gonna ruin it for you and I'm gonna make sure you don't win. And production stepped in and production literally came out there and they said, okay, you guys, Caleb, you can't play in the competition. And Caleb goes, what do you mean I can't play in the competition? I wanna play in the competition to ruin it for Frankie. And they said, Caleb, you can't play in the competition. He's like, why? Why can't I play in the competition? Wait, why couldn't he? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So they didn't allow Caleb to play. They didn't allow. Was this on they TV? Didn't allow Caleb to listen. What, they didn't is, allow Caleb is this to, like a hot take? Is this going to show up on Reddit later? Like, is this like, is this the first time this is being said, or was it on TV? No, I've I've told this story oh, at, okay. at, at meet and greets and oh. whatever. Like CBS, they I don't I don't even give a fuck honestly. So like they. Well, they, I I give a couple fucks. I mean, shit. I mean, you you probably should give a. I I don't though. But anyway, so they like literally told him he couldn't play in the competition. Weird. And yeah, yeah. And then and then it was easier by yourself and Frankie won, yada yada yada. So now mm. fast forward like another week. Um and it's uh the big black box competition where you know there's people in there, whatever. Yeah. And uh Donnie ends up winning and we hear production on the other side of the wall be like Yes, Donnie won. We did it, guys. We no, it. no. Over. Yeah, yeah. And we're like, really? Like, how many times can you guys screw up? So, I mean, you know, there's there's plenty of ways it's rigged. Um, it's extremely manipulated in the diary room. One day, Victoria comes out of the diary room, uh, like crying. Oh my God, Zach! And I was the only one there, Zach production just told me that everyone's talking shit about me and everyone's against me. And she runs up to me to hug me and telling me that production is telling her that everyone's talking shit about her. So like, what do I do? Because I'm the one who's been talking the most shit about her. And I'm like, oh, it's okay. Like, don't believe production. Just me. Like, what do I, like, what do I say? Like, oh, don't believe production. No, no, no. So then not even 20 seconds later, Zach, please go to the diary room. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, what's up? I go in the diary room. They go, Zach, whatever Victoria just said, don't believe her. And I'm like, all right, are you part of the game? Like, you're supposed to have the most integrity for the, the like the for the game to be played on a fair level, whatever. And then, long story short, they go. Victoria, come back to the diary room. Victoria goes in the diary room. She comes back out of the diary room. And while she goes in there, I run up to H O H room. I'm like, guys, guess what? Production. And they go, Zach, uh, like take off your microphone. But and they cut. And the like, Don't talk about production. Oh, yeah. They cut the feeds. They did all this stuff, right? Wow. So then Victoria leaves, and Victoria walks up, Zach. I was lying. Production didn't tell me anything. Then Zach, come to the diary room. I go to the diary room. They're like, Zach, we're, and I'm, I'm like, you, and I started screaming at them. I'm like, you guys are fucking playing this bullshit. You guys are telling Victoria shit. You're manipulating her to tell her that, you know, people are talking shit about her to cause shit when you're not supposed to be doing that. And I'm like, and you know me at 23 years old, I thought I was hot shit. I'm like, I'm going to sue you guys, blah, blah, blah. It's like, I, Good I, luck I, suing CBS. I, listen, I literally, <laughs> signed, I literally signed my life away when I went on Big Brother. Yeah. I, I, I own nothing. There's uh, literally, they, they have me by my cock. So I'm like, so I'm like, this is bullshit. They're like, Zach, Zach, we have the the lead counsel attorney sitting with us right now. Like, we didn't do anything wrong. And I got in a fight with production because they were telling Victoria that people are talking shit about her. So, you know, not, it's not only rigged. This is the thing. It's not only rigged on the competitions. It's super rigged in the diary room. There are people that are favored in the diary room. Like, there, there are people who get... Let's see, who get in fact, I'll people. be honest, I, like, I, and I'm not, I'm not even, I, I'm not being narcissistic here, like, I'm not, like, I, I feel like I'm being realistic and socially aware, but the diary room loved me, <laughs> like, production loved, like, I mean, they did, like, I mean, like, and, like, I feel, now, now I'm pissed, honestly, if it's rigged and they let me get away, I feel like they would have at least had a battle they loved back. you. Listen, just because they loved you doesn't mean they hated someone else. Like, they, it could have been rigged for you. You know what I mean? Like, it, that has nothing to do with the no, game. No, I, I, I think that they liked me and Cliff equally. But that's why I always know Pandora's box. Uh, it happened when Rachel Riley was on the box. So a lot of people 
claim that it's rigged because they loved Rachel Riley. And then when she was on the block, kind of set to go home, instead of the eviction, they go, okay, just get like, we have a new twist. It's called Pandora's Box. We're rewinding the whole weekend. They did, they redid the same HOH. They, so of course, like someone different one, you know, things like that. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like they would have done like a Pandora's Box type thing. Yeah. Because I, mean, I think look, that they wanted both of the day, Cliff to stay. At the end of the day, Big Brother is a fucking TV show, and they're going to do whatever the hell they want. The NBA. So why would they NFL get rid of me? Rigged. If they can rig a sports game, listen, if they can rig a sports game, they can absolutely rig a producer. So wait, hold on, hold on. So you agree that the MLB, that you agree that the World Series is rigged? No, no, I didn't say that. No, but do, but do you think so? It's a conspiracy. Um, I mean, people cheat all the time. When I say rigged, but do you think it's, I think no, that, but, no, but the, I mean, it, but the World Series is rigged. What's up? The World Series is rigged. How is it rigged? I don't know. I, I haven't really dove into this conspiracy, but I know it's rigged. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I, the, my, my only point is that they have the power to rig it, and all they care about is views. And, I don't know. I, you know, I so. mean, okay, I, I love, I honestly, I love and appreciate your passion. But yeah. I, I just have a hard time. Like maybe I'm drinking the Kool-Aid, but I have a hard time believing if it was rigged that they would have let me go. Yeah, I, <laughs> maybe I, I know that specific situation. Do, but but I don't know. It, it's rigged. Or sure. they would have done like because our I will say our week we did have a twist that mm -hmm. Christy was the third nominee and right mm -hmm. and honestly if Christy would have stayed the nominee and like she's probably watching this but I'll admit like the way that the votes were going when we had Cliff's Angels and everything like Christy would have gone home that week if she had stayed on the block. Um, so I think that they would have at least made the twist of like the third nominee can't come off, but it ended up like Tommy won the veto, so we took her off. But there's just so many things that happened that week that like, I, I know there's a lot of crazy things that happened during Big Brother that make people think like, first of all, I do think Helen might've been pushed, but whatever. But like, as far as like rigging goes, I think that if it was truly, truly rigged, me and Cliff would have, they would have found a way for us to stay. Hmm. Okay, so, but Zach, okay, so I do have a question, Zach, because yeah. um, you seem very, um, I guess it's safe to say that you're not going back, that you, uh, I mean, if you, like, threaten to sue production, um, no, I would, not, you, uh, I would you go back for All Stars? No, my, my TV career is, is over. Ah, okay, Zach, can I please list all of the people, all of the people that asked about All Stars? We have at Sister Talk Bro, at Cat EJ, at Logan Crandall, at Brick Palace, at Sahi Texas Anna, at Sadie Marlin, at Chia Darlingo Amo, at Emily Shepard, at C underscore Bakes, at Cooper Rod. All asked if you'd go back for All Stars. Wow. That's a laundry list of people that are asking if I'll go back on All Stars. And they and you won it? No. What that? Wait, so, okay, so my it depends. question. It depends on my guaranteed check. Like, if they're like, Zach, will you go on All-Stars for 20 grand? I would hang up immediately. If they say, Zach, will you go Wait, on All-Stars? 20 grand? 20 what? grand? <laughs> go on All-Stars for, no, I can't, no. For 20 I, grand? I, I'll be honest, I went on for the $1,000 a week stipend. I mean, I, I, mean, I mean, so did I in the first place too, but now I'm in a way better spot that I don't need 20 True. grand. Yeah, you're in real estate, I forget. Listen, if they said, will you do it for 50 grand? I would still probably say no. But what? Yeah. <laughs> but if- Big brother, so call me. I'll do it for, I'll, I, really? I honestly, okay, I, maybe I'm honestly, I'm somebody, I'm so passionate about getting paid for what you're worth. Like get paid for what you're worth. Like when it comes to like NBA cheer teams, modeling, like all that, like, Fucking like get your paycheck, get what you're worth. Yeah. But um. Oh no, I'm not ah, saying I'm. Dang. Listen, I'm not saying like I'm worth fifty. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. No, you're I'm not no, saying exactly. I'm worth fifty grand. Exactly. I'm just saying my Let time. Let me know you're worth. You are worth hundred grand. Is really valuable. It's not like no, you oh, are valuable. If you want me on Big Brother, I need sixty grand. That's all I'm saying. What I'm saying is like I'm not gonna leave my incredible uh, life I got right now. When you're in your career. It's it's a lot to ask you. You know to give that up for how many months yeah yeah I, I i made 20 grand last month i don't i don't need to do 20 grand for three months you know dang uh same i'm kidding yeah <laughs> i don't know how much i made last month we're in the middle of a pandemic uh mm -hmm. wait but okay actually so <laughs> i do have a i do have another question that no one asked this and i don't know why because this is as soon as i asked you i was like i'm asking about this mm -hmm. so earlier this well last year 
um, Julie Chen was doing Halloween costumes. Okay. And she impersonated you. Okay. Do you know, did you see that? I'm sure you did. I saw that, yeah. Okay, so first of all, I will say that at Taggy Taggy 898, mm -hmm. she wants you to do that move, that iconic move of yours. If you would, if you would grace us with that. What, what iconic? <laughs> Actually, she said, she said, can you go, ooh, kiss, kiss. No. Tell her this. Tell her this. You tell her. You're on. All right. I'll, all right. I'll tell her right now. Okay. Go uh, on, taggy, go taggy, 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 this is for you. Go on my cameo. Pay $65, and I'll do it. Taggy, 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 go on my cameo. Pay me $10, and I'll do it. <laughs> Ten dollar cameo, yo. That doesn't even buy a Chipotle burrito. You need a crazy I know, I know, but we're in the middle of pandemic, damn. <laughs> she didn't get her stimulus check yet. I actually did. I did. Oh, you did? Oh, you did? No, yeah, no, no. No, if I didn't get my stimulus check, my my cameos would be a hundred dollars a pop. But oh, um, no, but I mean, get your bag. Huh? I said, get your bag. Yeah, but but you know how it is. I mean, like it's like. I'm not going to be, like, I feel cringy as it is, like, charging, you know, whatever. But I had so many people that were messaging me, and they're like, hey, like, it's, you know, my my mom just lost her job, or my dad's in struggling, you know, things like that. And I'm like, okay, $10, yeah. like, I like I can't do it for free, obviously. Because if people, if you're doing something for free, then people will take advantage. And people that don't really, they're not a fan of you, they're not going to pay. Like, they'll be like, oh, do this, and they waste your time. Ten dollars. I mean, I feel like that's like okay. Like they they obviously are showing a need. Like you're not gonna pay ten dollars to someone that hates you, or maybe you will. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. But I did fall behind. So right now I'm unbookable because I fell so behind on my cameo. So um, Anthony, we're doing cameos tonight. Yeah, Anthony. And now since they expired. Oh, by the way, just this note how much she bosses me around. <laughs> and this is my effing apartment. <laughs> this is my. By the way, Zach, this is my best friend, Anthony. What's up, man? What's up, Anthony? I'm Zach. How are you? Zach, Anthony, nice to meet you, bud. How are you? Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. Every, time, every time I have a live that I don't know the person I'm interviewing, I always come over here because I feel like yeah. he's like a good safety net. Okay. That if I get, I mean, well, no, like our conversation is going, you, you can get off the screen now. Okay, I'm done, 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 I'm done. No, but then I'm like, okay, I was like, if for some reason Zach can't talk, mm -hmm. at least I have Anthony to like, you know, come in and like, he's like my damage control. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm just, it's okay. I already went live today, to be fair. So, bye. Yeah, I created a monster on <laughs> um, Okay, but, okay, so, but back to Julie impersonating you for Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. According to Reddit, that was a hint of All-Stars. There was a rumor going around that everyone that she was impersonating was, who <laughs> were going to be on All-Stars. Of course it's a rumor. There's rumors about Is that now, actually? The, every everything that's a rumor is usually false. That's why it's a rumor. That's exactly what someone who has been cast for All Stars would say. Oh my god! I I am not going on All Stars. I promise you that I am not going on All Stars. Do you think I would hmm. be talking all this shit if I was going on All Stars? Sounds like a really good uh, cover up. Okay, touche. Touche, but no. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm not going on All Stars. I'm the one that's like, ah, like, oh. Honestly, I am super flattered that Julie Chen was impersonating me. That's I'm I was jealous. Chill. I don't know why she but, didn't but impersonate honestly, me. Let me, tell you, let me tell you something. There are plenty of people who made a way bigger impact on Big Brother than I have. The only reason she can't impersonate them is because they didn't have like a like an outfit. Like I was like I was a character. <laughs> I was a character too. Yeah, like, because I had a pink hat and a gator shirt, so it was easy to impersonate. Ah, I should have had a gator shirt. Yeah. Anthony, do you have a gator shirt? Like, the Florida gators? Hell no. Oh, never mind. Hell no? What does that mean? We went to Baylor. Uh, oh, you guys went to Baylor? Uh, my mom went to the FSU. Oh, she went to FSU? Yeah. All right, I, I, I won't hold that against you. I, Wait, where did you plus go? Plus Charlie Ward. Like, that's okay, who what, like, University I, like, University of Florida. Wait, do what? To UF. Oh, so you actually, okay, so you were repping your school. I was repping my school, yes. I, I, well, I don't know. Like, in Texas, a lot of people rep UT, but they don't actually go to UT, which is, like, a really weird thing. Right. Yeah. Like, there's, like, a saying. It's, like, I'm wearing a Baylor shirt because I went to Baylor. You're wearing a UT shirt because you went to Walmart. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> but I wasn't sure if that's how I, not saying they went to Walmart, but you know. What, what, what did you major in? Uh, finance and economics. Nice. You were a double major. Wow. Yeah, I was actually. So, but working in real estate, I mean, yeah. oh, actually, I wanted to ask you, have you read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? Yes. That's a good book. It is a great book. Especially if you're in real estate. I feel like that, like, that makes me want to go invest in real estate. Yes. Great book. I did have a question about, where was it? Um, oh, okay. Actually, okay. So, um, okay. So, at underscore Kate Face, she <laughs> said this verbatim. She goes, any advice for new real estate agents? Your work is hella inspiring. Wow. Um, any advice for new real estate agents? <laughs> you just gotta like figure it out. It's t everyone has their own business, you know, it's just, it's not, there's no cookie cutter recipe or simple guide to making money in real estate. And you got to fail a lot and you got to do a lot of things that don't work mm -hmm. to figure out that what does work. And like, I'm still super new. I, I've only been doing it for four, five, four years. So but you're I'm, not. Still figuring, I'm still figuring it out too, you know? I love that. What's yeah. been your bit, what's. In your four years of real estate agenting, mm -hmm. what's been your biggest win or your favorite story or favorite memory or, I don't know, tell us something positive about your experience. Well, on, on May 12th, I think it was, 2018, I sold a house for $2.8 million. Damn! Yeah! That, and you know what, actually, about that story? So, that story was is actually incredible because... Um, I'm really big into the secret and the law of attraction. And mm -hmm. if you believe it, it'll come true. Same. It might not always come Dad, true. We are the same person. Yeah, it might not always come true the way that you expect it mm -hmm. to happen. But the feeling you're after, whether it's getting a big, you know, $80,000 commission check or, you know, whatever it is, like the feeling is what you care about. It's not, yeah. it's not the money. It's not whatever. So long story short, this random guy walks into the office one day and, and I'm just randomly there for like two minutes flirting with the girl up front. And he's like, hey, you know, I'm, I want to buy a house. Um, can you, can you like introduce me to a realtor? And I'm like, my name is Zach. I'm the best realtor in this office. Like sit down and I'll get you a cup of coffee. And he ended up like buying a $2.825 million house for me. Wow. And, yeah, it's pretty dope. It's so pretty dope. So I follow a realtor. He's here in Dallas um, at Ben Wegman. I don't know if I, he, I think he might be like Insta famous in the realtor space or whatever, mm -hmm. but he like specializes in like mansions in Dallas, which I don't, I don't know how the cost of living in Florida is, but in Dallas, mm -hmm. like a million dollars can buy you like a huge mansion. When in LA, it buys you like what? Like a one bedroom. But right, same, um, same here, kind of. Like, a million dollars doesn't get you much. You really? Like Dang. A, you get, Zach, like, a four-bedroom house. Zach, you need to come to Texas. Never. Yeah. You don't, have you ever yes, been yes, to I'll Florida? Myself, then. <laughs> have you ever been to Florida? I love, I do like Florida. Actually, that was, the the that was the last place I traveled course. to before uh, quarantine hit. Yeah, no, Florida is the best place ever. Really? Yeah. Wait, so, and what part of Florida do you live in again? West Palm Beach. I love West Palm Beach. I know. Oh my gosh. Y'all have, okay, so there's a hotel there. It's pink. Um, you know what I'm talking about? It's haunted. Uh, oh, it's haunted? Yeah. It's oh, pink and it's haunted, yeah. which is got, my kind of place. Right. Yeah. Huh? You're probably right. I, I, I'm not really it's, sure which one you're talking about, but I believe I you. wish I could remember. I could Google it, but I'm on my phone right now. Yeah. Living. But I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you. But okay. uh, no, but it's haunted and it's pink. And um, no, I love... West Palm Beach is beautiful, but, yeah. but the cost of living in Texas is like stupid affordable. Yeah. Like I live in a huge, well, not huge. Like I, it's like, I mean, not to give away like all my, like whatever, but it's a thousand square feet apartment. Um, and my rent is like $1,200 a month. Like it's ridiculous, like wow. stupid cheap. That's cool. Yeah. Not to brag, but I'm trying to like relate with you on a real estate level. Yeah. Am I working? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Well, that's all I know. So, <laughs> <Whatever>. <laughs> um, <laughs> so actually, I did want to ask you another question. Um, this is honestly going by so fast, Zach. I love this. Um, okay, so Pink Disco Ball 77, they wanted me to ask you, what inspires you? What inspires me? I mean, every, there's so much shit that inspires me. You want me to start saying all the things that inspire yeah. me? Yeah. 
I want to know. And so does, and I mean, so like, does Pink Disco Ball 77. <laughs> I just really am inspired by making progress and seeing results. Same. I think it's that's important. Inspiring, you know, just like having a little bit, like a small taste of success is more motivating and inspiring to like work harder. Mm -hmm. So that, that inspires me. Being 96 years old on my deathbed inspires me because I want to look back on my life and say, wow, I, I made a difference on the earth. Mm -hmm. I really feel like I was chosen. And like, we're all, we're all chosen. I, I have this, uh, this feeling in my heart that I was here to do some good stuff. I don't know what that is, but I'm you inspired do. by Zach, to I'm gonna call you out. Day. You do what? know what that is. What is it? You are I mean, well, okay. So I don't I just met you. <laughs> but like I mean, I think that like of course like your the experience you had on Big Brother. I mean, yep. I that definitely like, gave you a platform. And right now yep. you're like I mean, from the questions that I've gotten, I know that you're super passionate about uh, meditation you're super yep. passionate about exactly. real estate um you're you were also a character on the show so that means that you want to entertain i mean come on give yourself some more credit yeah no you're exactly right thank you but also pink disco ball is probably my favorite fan i've ever oh seen. so you know her of course i know oh, her. i love that i love pink disco ball her name's michelle you should follow her no, you should follow her. You should. Okay, so I'm gonna follow her, and then you need to follow at Catherine Dunstan because that's my favorite. Done. Person. Yo, when are we gonna get to the Zanky questions? The what? Zanky questions. Zanky. Oh, oh, I have so many. Are you? Is yeah, that you start, and Frankie? Let's start spilling the tea. Okay. Well, okay. So this yeah. is my Zanky page. Okay. Right, so let's, right, let's do the Zanky page. Let's okay. So okay. Well, first, I, I have an order to this. I'm pretty much Oprah. Okay. Okay. So well, and, let okay, me tell no. you something. The ice cream, the ice cream shop closes in an hour, and I gotta get there before it closes. So. Okay. Well. Well, yeah. I can't we have plenty of time. Just but, walked yeah. in and she compared herself <laughs> to Oprah. That's I gotta all get some put out there. Well, it's really difficult for me to upload videos longer than an hour on my YouTube. So we are gonna have to kind of like you know cut this. Yeah. We have we have seven minutes. Okay, so um, at the Gun Show 31, at Cindy Suss, at Mooney NY, at T Scully 96, you have a lot of people ask the same questions, but um, they yeah. wanted to know who do you still keep in touch with from your season? Uh, I keep in touch with Frankie, Caleb, Cody, Derek, and Hayden a little bit too. Huh? I actually, I talked to Derek today. He he called me about an Instagram live question. So like, I'm all of a sudden the expert. <laughs> but um, but I asked him about you because I was like, oh, I have Zach coming on tonight. Like, is he cool? And he said that uh, we he he said that we're kind of the same with our like crackhead energy. I think that was my I think that was my words, not his. Okay. So he was yeah. like, oh, he's like, y'all are gonna be all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Because we're like, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. They're everywhere. Uh, okay, so okay, well then, okay, so Margaret ninety four, a rock three, a rock three six six two, and millions in the short thirty. They asked, "Are you still friends with Frankie?" So obviously the answer is yes. Yep. Yeah. And okay, so then <laughs> my lineup. So then at Cindy Suss and at Cat Dunn asked, "Have you met Ariana Grande?" Yes. You mostly. have. How was she in person? Yeah. yeah, she's awesome. That's so cool. Yeah. Wow, she's cool. I like her a lot. I like um, I like her new album. It gives me like good like you know like if I ever want to like feel like I want to conquer the world, I listen to her new album. Yep. Um, okay, so um, Nick, uh, big fan. He's actually he's one of my number one stan accounts at Nick Macaron. Um, he asked, "Did Nick cuddle more with Tommy than you did with Frankie?" I highly doubt that. No, if, actually, I want to pull the comments in here. I know. I hope Nick is still in here because he actually made sure that I asked this question. So, if you're in the comments, let us know who cuddled more, Zach and Frankie or Nick and Tommy. Let's see. We will see. It's a little delayed, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. Oh, everyone's saying okay. So Nick is the first one. Mm -hmm. LOL. Okay. Oh, Zach. Oh, Zach and Frank. Wow, I can't even imagine anyone cuddling more than Nick and Tommy. Yep. I'm telling you. Um, oh, okay. So you didn't watch, dang it, you didn't watch season 21, and I wish you did, because at 
Food Fuel asked, who from my season, season 21, would you be in a bromance with? Who would I be in a bromance with? Uh, probably Tommy. That, I, I figured that. Yeah. Probably wow. Tommy. So Tommy. I mean, Jackson, you. Jackson and Jackson, right? That's both their names. Jackson, Jackson and Jackson, yeah. They're, they're way too alpha male for me. Um, and then I can't even remember anyone else. Yeah, so. I love Tommy. Tommy evicted me, but I love him. Oh, we talk he? all the time. Yeah. Um, okay, so then um, at Cat Dunn asked, which girl from my season would be your showman? Isabella. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I'm totally yeah, kidding. Yeah, I would, I would put my, my tongue so far down Isabella's throat, she would love it. Oh, so, you're, so you crush on Isabella? Yeah. Nice. Does she know this? Uh, like, no, I'm pretty sure she has a boyfriend. Ah, uh, damn, the one that got away. Yeah, no, it's all good. Her boyfriend seems like a cool dude. Yeah. I don't know. No, I was kind of- Now people are going like, to be sliding into his DMs and even... they're going to tell her that Zach Rance is interested and she's going to- that, That's that's why I'm following up with her boyfriend seems like a good dude. Because obviously everyone's going <laughs> to blow up her DMs and say, oh my God, Zach said he wants to stick your tongue down. But no, I was just being a little provocative. I got to spice this up a little. I know, no, I, lo I love the sex appeal. I love yeah. the sex appeal that you're bringing. That's what gets but people you, talking. You I appreciate you, it. Thank you for keeping me yeah, relevant. The question was, who would I like have a showman with? Yeah. And the answer is her. Okay, perfect. I love it. Okay, so um, also, okay, so I think I know the answer to this because you wouldn't have answered the way that you did if, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. So at Brooke and Rachel Mama asked, are you dating anybody? No. Uh, actually, a lot of people ask this, but yeah. at first I thought they were like, at first I was like, I don't want to bring that energy. No, this, this is a good question. Huh? I, I, right now I'm not dating anybody and I don't, I'm not dating either. I had Bumble and Hinge and Tinder and I was literally swiping right until my thumb bleeded. But Bled, um, wow, that's intense. Yeah. But this is, this is the thing. I am not, I'm not interested in, in dating people right now. People? Just like, what do you have yeah. a thing for dating for? What's up? You said you said you don't have a you said you don't have a thing for dating people. Uh huh. So what is your thing for dating for? Well, I'm just saying that I'm not dating anybody right now. I'm just I'm too I'm too busy doing God's work. I don't have time to to date right now. Aw, I love that. So you're a Christian. I'm actually Jewish. You are? Okay, cool. Yeah. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Cool. I wasn't sure because sometimes if people say you usually when someone says that they believe in the simulation theory or alternate universes, people they usually aren't religious. I am. I'm but not. Religious. I was all, but I was curious. I'm not religious Someone, either. Well, no, but you, but I mean, not You know what I mean? Like, like. Yeah. No, me saying I'm doing God's work. I'm just making the world a better place. Oh, that's good. God's work. Well, that's God's work. Yeah, that's God's work. Do you think this is the apocalypse? Uh, no, I don't think this is the apocalypse. I think this was God. Telling us telling to get our shit something. together? Yeah, this was God just telling us, like, yo, fam, like, slow down. And like, you just, like, chill. Like, stop building huge skyscrapers and, like, stop burning forests for more chicken. And And he's just telling us to, like, just chill. I agree with that. Yeah. Like, he's like, like you people are wild. Like, I know, it's terrible. Y'all are tripping. <laughs> yeah, we be tripping. Okay, so, um, let me see. <laughs> um, okay, actually, I do, okay, so I want to circle back on the Fruit Loop Dingus stuff before we go. Okay. Um, Lucy C589 and Kat Dunn <laughs> wanted to know, what, where's the Fruit Loop Dingus merch at? Where's the merch? Yeah. <sighs> Zach, if you haven't already... If okay, she I wants to do the biggest merch, pink, just get, have wait, her you should get pink me. hats. Yeah. Pink like they like this kind of hat. And then put Fruit Loop Dingus on it with like a little Fruit Loop. That is such a good idea. How did I never think of that? Wait, did, are you are you showing me? <laughs> did you did you did you have that merch or what's going on? No, it's just funny. Listen. Wait. Do Fruit Loop Dingus merch and pink hats is so 2014. This is cat. This is what you need. Okay, to I'm sorry, but the Listen. 2000s are back. I know so you're, you're. I know that? you just got your so Big Brother cherry popped. All right, but this is the thing. Okay, I was on Big Brother six 
fucking years ago. Okay, people like, are still I'm, asking for I'm it though. Ancient. You're still relevant, Zach, whether you want to admit it or not. Your definition of relevant is different than other people's definition of relevant. Oh. At the end of the day, I'm I'm not selling Big Brother merch. You know how much of a like like downgrade that would be in my life. If a downgrade posted, from the sixty-five dollars cameos. Hey guys, like buy my pink hat with fruit and dingus on the fry. That Zach, is, you that's would so... thrive. You would thrive. Everyone in everyone in the comments. No, no, no. Don't ask people in the comments. Let's talk about this. Let's say I make hats and I sell hats. Let's talk about this right now. And I sold what? What? A thousand hats, which isn't even gonna happen. I'll sell like you would probably you would sell a thousand hats. You no, I I'll be honest. You, you would I sold a thousand face masks. There is not a thousand people. Look, if there was You'd a be thousand surprised. people that wanted no. Make it a good price, people will buy multiple. Yeah, you make a good price, you don't make good money. Listen, I'm not making I I, I appreciate your love and support. And that means a lot for me. But I was on Big Brother six years ago. But Julie is impersonating you on her Twitter. You are relevant, Zach. Oh, my God. You are the fact honestly, that you're an like, iconic Big Brother You player? are making me die inside that, that, that you think people, just because they have my picture on their Instagram default, is like makes me relevant. It does. It, no, it that, that literally does. <laughs> oh, my God. You're too much. You're too much. Your cameos you're, are too much. You're so you're so <laughs> naive. You're so naive and fresh. Like it's like it's. I I, I wish I can go back to Aww. 2014 and think I was relevant because someone made their default picture on Instagram. Wait, so are, you, are you, so are you saying are you are you saying that all these default pictures of my face is not that doesn't make me relevant? Are you saying I'm irrelevant? Good God! <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's just funny because. It was, it was just so long ago. So Could, okay, so funny. wait, okay. So if you and I end up being friends after this, because this is the first time we're talking. We're, but I we're feel friends like right now. we have a lot in common. We're friends right now. The start yeah. of a beautiful friendship. Mm -hmm. Would you be mad if I sold pink hats with fruit loop dingus on it? <laughs> no, I would not. <laughs> yes, you would. You'd be so pissed if I didn't give you a cut. I do not care. I don't care. I would probably this... make, like, I would probably honestly, first of all, pay my rent. Let me, let, me tell you let me tell you something. What's that? Um, there's not a person. Actually, I don't want to say this with so much certainty, but I care so little about Big Brother. Like, I am so far removed from Big Brother. I don't attend any events. I, like, it's honestly. Wow. So, wait, so why would you want to come on my live? I know. That's what I'm saying. It's a rare encouragement that I'm even doing this right I'm now. I'm honored. I'm, I'm honored. I'm so past Big Brother. Like, it's not even. It's it's funny to even think about. Like, let me tell you, something. I literally gave away all my my stuff. Like my box of Big Brother stuff, I threw out every single thing I had. I threw out every single thing. I okay, don't know where my, my keys. parents have strict my orders that if I ever die, they bury me in my uh, lumberjack costume. I'm kidding. <laughs> that's that's a lie. <laughs> I threw away all my the. Oh, I have one Big Brother thing left, and that's it? a. It's my comic book thing. Oh, I have that too. But I don't even hang it up. Like, I don't even want to hang it up. I don't want to look at it. I, I don't want to see that. Will you Man, please just so raise your Big Brother past? No, I, it's just like... Your stardom? Just, it's been six years. It's been so long. I'm just like not... I'm, but I, you're I'm very so relevant. Wait, Big Brother. look, ha Anthony, have I ever had three pages of notes? Dude, it's been six years, six years since a girl texted me back. I yeah, that's... I still, well, I still have. You know. Yeah. That's a good point. That's but also, with that being said, the girls are still thirsting over you, Zach. What, fans are thirsty? Is that supposed to make me feel good about no, myself? No, there was a lot of that, hot like, girls that were thirsting in the questions. Listen, these people have been watching this Instagram live for an hour. Okay, no offense. Wow, we have a lot of, actually, I haven't listened to the viewers. We have almost 500 viewers. Wow, we are, Zach, we are relevant. Oh my God, views don't matter. Listen. Speak for yourself. Just because I'm girls, it's worth. <laughs> just because girls like say they want to make out with me is supposed to make me feel good. Drew, oh my friends in here, everyone say what's up, Drew, in the comments. Hi, Drew. What's up, Drew? What are you holding to your head? Uh, this is a massage gun. Oh, I was like, is that a gun? <laughs> no. I was, so like, it's... I was like, don't shoot. I have a bad shoulder, so I kind of just gotta like work it out. 
Zach, the confidence that you have coming on my live with a full on Snuggie and giving yourself a shoulder massage is honestly iconic. Yeah, well, I just really don't give a fuck, honestly. Me either. Yeah. Wow, we are the same. So, you heard it first. Um, we've already gone over the hour. Zach, you are honestly my new favorite person. And I've okay. only said this to one person, and that was Jenny West from the challenge. But okay. I'm, uh, so I'm not taking that back because she's also my favorite person, but you are my second favorite person. Okay. Let me ask you a question. So you do this every week with, with Big Brother people? So actually, so yeah. So I, um, when quarantine first kind of hit, I wanted to think of how can I with, you know, Big Brother, like Big Brother gave me a voice, obviously, whether, you know, whether it's relevant for a short time or not. But, um, but I am thinking of ways that I can give back to people. And I knew that, uh, actually my mom was the one that told me that during this quarantine period, I should focus on making people smile because everyone's gonna be depressed and down and it's such a stressful time. How can I make people smile? Mm -hmm. So I thought about it and my first thought was, I can go live with other Big Brother legends. And um, at first I thought that quarantine was only gonna be like a week or two weeks. So I had like my two week, schedule made up it was like people from my season and whatever but then um quarantine just kept going so this is actually the first week uh because i've also been i also sold fa conspiring bitch face masks where all the proceeds go towards um organizations that help those that have um been uh hurt displaced. or displaced by covid oh that's great yeah. yeah um so but so i've been focusing on getting those out this week so this week was a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a turbulence because usually I go live every night, but you're actually my only live this week. But I thought that you're such an iconic Big Brother player that yeah. you kind of spoke for yourself. And I was like, you know what? He will be the star of the week. So congrats. Uh, um, but yeah, but t next week I'm hoping to go live every night. I'll be honest, I'm running out of Big Brother players. So if you know anyone, put in a good word. Yeah, I'm trying but to think of Also, people. last week I had both Dan Giesling and Derek Lavasser on. And it was like, I was like, okay, I, how am I going to, how am I going to follow this up with anybody? You are the oh only choice. I was like, okay, Zach. I was like, Zach is a great follow up. <laughs> like, perfect. You're, you're going to run out of people, Kat. I know. I'm running out of people already. So what are you going to do? Well, I hope that maybe quarantine will end sooner rather than later. Run it back. I guess I could. So I actually, I just recently started uh, screen recording them to put on my YouTube. So mm -hmm. there are like the first like three weeks, like I interviewed Janelle, who's an absolute legend, but legend. I didn't screen record it. So there's no proof, <laughs> but, um, so maybe I'll have like some people back. I don't know. But if you know anyone. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I don't really keep in touch with anyone from big brother. You so literally I just said that you did. You said you kept in touch I mean, with those I mean, those four people from my season, you want me to give you Cody and Frankie's number? I'll, no, actually, I uh, no, I've already been in touch with Cody. Hopefully, he's coming on next week. Yeah, Cody Cody might do it. Frankie I didn't want to do y'all the same week because it was like, especially after Derek, because it was like season 16, season 16, you know what I mean? I was trying to spread it all out. Right. All right. Well, this this is, this is a good little gig, just interviewing Big Brother players. It's fun. Um, and I'm actually, yeah. I'm, I'm going to, you know Elena from season 19, right? Yeah. Um, so she's a good friend of mine because we both live in the Dallas area. Oh um, yeah. But she's gonna we're gonna get together next week and talk about like how I can parlay this into a podcast, which I've never even thought about doing. But but I'm yeah, excited you for the well, future. You got nothing to lose with a podcast. That's what I figure. I was like, I I ain't got nothing but time. Yeah, I've been like trying to put out a lot more content on Instagram and stuff. It's just so hard. You do? Uh, are you? So Dan is big on uh, Twitch. Okay. Are you on Twitch? No. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought you were. No, I'm not on Twitch. All I do really is put stuff on Instagram on my feed. Is really what I do. That's all you do. Um, but I'm, I mean, I'm trying to do it more because I re I recently became a certified life coach. No way. Yeah. So I'm just, I, I'm help people with everything from like mindset coaching, coaching to diet to, you know, career advice, money management, things I'm good at. So I'm, I'm doing that more often. So I'm trying to promote more of just like positivity and like self development, personal growth type stuff. I love that. Good Cause like, you. that's just really what I've been doing for the last four years, just learning and reading books and getting better every single day. 
and it's clearly working. So it, the least I can do that. I mean, this is God's word. Like this is the yeah. divinity. You know, just helping so work. before we go, because yeah. is that I would literally, I, I, you are honestly one of my new favorite people. And I don't say this and people in the comments can vouch. I don't say this to everybody. I okay. really enjoy talking to you. So thank you for your time. Um, yes. But I do want to ask you, what are your top three recommended books that anyone like that you've read recently that you think a lot of people would enjoy? So I, I have a ton of books back here that are great. But this is this is my bookshelf of my favorite nice. books. Right here. Okay, so my favorite book of all time is probably this book, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. Oh, I've actually heard of that book. This book is absolutely incredible and life changing. So that is okay. So the monk that sold his Ferrari is one. Yeah, and probably this book, which started my spiritual journey. Eckhart what is that? Tolle. It's backwards. A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. Ooh, that's something something I need. I'm this always like book New Earth stuff. Is life changing. I had World multiple, order. multiple brain orgasms when I read that book. And then they're like, oh my god, this book, The Art of Living. Vipassana meditation. This book is crazy. It's basically like it's basically everything that Buddha said in a book. So those are my top three. But I, I mean, I have a lot more. Last year I read thirty-seven books. I read seven, good for yeah, you. Read, That's amazing. I read seventeen books already this year. So the goal is fifty. So That's I'm like, amazing, right, I'm Zach. right on schedule. Yeah, most. I mean, all the books I read are nonfiction. I, I don't really read a lot of like, fiction, but so yeah. Have you read, this is my favorite book of all time. Have you ever read the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People? Of course, yes. Me and Dan Dale bonded Carnegie. over that book. Um, Dale Carnegie. I think I, ha I have it right here on, on my favorite bookshelf. Oh, right I love that. That's such yeah. an iconic read. Um, iconic. Did you read it before or after going on Big Brother? Um, I read it twice. I think I read it before and after. Me too. Oh, oh, well, yeah. actually, I read it in Sequester while I was getting ready to go on the show. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Wow, Zach. You, know, Zach, you are such a cool person. It has been so much fun to talk with you. Thanks. You're a cool person, too. I appreciate you bringing me on. I Do you still think I'm a Fruit Loop dingus? You're absolutely a Fruit Loop dingus. I was, super, I was super flattered when you wanted me to come on your Instagram Live. That meant a lot, actually. Really? Yeah, it really did. Stop. And I, listen, I like spilling tea. I like talking shit. I like being rude to people sometimes. Oh, I love talking like, shit. Like That's this. what I do for like, fun. No, I'm kidding. In, yeah, in, in, in normal life, I'm a super nice, nice, like, guy. Like, uh, it's funny. I'll, like, buy a Starbucks gift card, and I'll give it to the cash register guy, and I'll buy people Starbucks and I stuff. I love that. Like, yeah, no, I just, like, I'm a nice guy in real life. But when Ooh. it comes to this, when it comes to this, doing Instagram lives, especially talking about Big Brother, I like to bring back my you know kind of evil side and just be a dick. Wait, so so i i watched a little bit of your season because honestly i was trying to study i was trying to study derek's game because i thought maybe i'd be like the new derek of big brother before i left but i, I wasn't um but i didn't see how it ended um so were you a villain i don't know what i was oh, i was a villain i'm kidding i was yeah. a villain <laughs> I don't know what I was. I think I, I was a villain. I tried to be mean, but I, I You tried? Why I was would like, you try? No one likes someone. It was just mean. like funny. It was just funny to be mean and stuff. I, I don't know if I was a villain or not. I don't know. Hmm. I don't like to put labels on things. Oh, okay, I see. You're one of those. I'm one of you those. You can't be tamed. Right. Um what was I gonna say? Um yeah, okay, well, man. I feel like I, man, I feel like we go for another hour, but you have forty, you have forty three minutes to get ice yep. cream. Good thing it's like only thirty seconds away. Oh, are, are you, non -dairy, are you saying do... that you can go for another hour? I'm kidding. Non dairy, um, French vanilla with chocolate sprinkles. Nice, I love that. And I'm gonna wear a mask and gloves when I go. Oh, you have to go pick it up. Yeah. Y'all don't have. Oh, like, I could order it. I could, I could order it. But I'm going to go pick it up, listen to some Justin Bieber in the car, you know. I, I actually, that. I have tickets for his concert that was supposed to be on July 25th. I bought two tickets for my ex-girlfriend and I. Jeez. And she broke up with me. What a uh, bitch. About, yeah, she broke up with me like three months ago. What a bitch. 
Uh, no, she's actually really sweet. She was great. Okay, she's not a bitch. I was trying to be on your side. I was trying to be like, ha, bitch. No, I appreciate, but, yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. So I have two tickets to go to Justin Bieber. So if there's any fans in here that are interested in going or, or maybe I love you, Justin Bieber. I love Justin Bieber. I love Justin Bieber. Yeah. That's so funny. Um, okay, actually, wait, I do have another question. So yeah. you, because you love reading and you love books, would you ever write a book yourself? I'm writing a book right now. No way! Yeah. I love that. So what's the premise yeah. of it? It's uh, it's a book about my life. I love that. It's honestly... Are you going to give Big Brother tea? What's up? Are you going to drop the Big Brother tea? Uh, am I going to drop the Big Brother key? Yeah. What do you mean? Like... Is there gonna be like a chapter of like Big Brother tea and how it's rigged? No, it's it's no, it's not about that. It's just it's mainly about how um like Big Brother changed my life and how I was super narcissistic and I was like a douchebag after Big Brother and how I learned a lot from being such an asshole. I I I, I love this journey for you. Yeah, no, honestly, that that's really about, about pretty much about what the whole book's about, and it has a lot of tea about Frankie too, like a ton of tea about Frankie. Oh. We are yeah. so friends about our relationship, like the the. Specific details. Okay, so someone uh, actually asked if y'all ever like dated. We never dated. We were never official. T. What? I'm just. I'm gonna, people I'm just know like, that? Let's see, like, do people know this, or is this like a first time thing? No, no, it's not a first time thing. People know that we never dated. But y'all like talked. What do you mean? What, I don't what do you know. Mean? I what do you mean by talk? What does that I don't mean? Because you were like, we never dated. And I was like, we didn't date. Me and Christy never dated. Okay. But maybe, maybe we talked. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, we didn't. Chris, me and Christy always joke about that, though. Yeah. Christy seems chill. I feel like Christy and I have. So you do know. So you did watch season twenty one. I forgot about Christy. I forgot about Christy. I yeah, told Christy you to mention I... her because she was in the live earlier. Now yeah. she's offended. Christy and now, I have a now I'm gonna have to apologize to her for the fact that she came to my live to watch you and you didn't mention her as someone that you liked. Oh, uh, Christy, I'm sorry, babe. She's probably not here anymore. She probably left as soon as you didn't mention her. I would have left. I'm sorry, babe. Is she a Fruit Loop Dingus? She, she's a Fruit Loop Dingus. She's a Fruit Loop Dingus. I'm kidding. I feel like I actually really am the only Fruit Loop Dingus of the season. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh. Well, All right, babe. Zach, it was a pleasure. It was it an was. honor. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming on. Already, this video is way too long for my YouTube, which sucks. It will take forever no, to load, right. but you it was worth it. every minute. Huh? Yeah, just edit the video. Just take out the good parts. Just take out all the parts about real estate. No one cares about that. You, you okay, I'm sorry. We have, um, well, I crossed it out because I asked you, but we had that many questions about real estate. People are interested okay. that. Zach, you don't want to admit it, but you're relevant. And I'm sorry to tell you this. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you're relevant. If people are paying $65 for a cameo, I'm going to buy a cameo from you, actually. No, you're not. I you're might. Not... I'll do anything when I'm wine drunk. That's not a bet you're going to win, dude. Yeah, that's not a bet you're going to win. Yeah. I just got my stimulus check. I got money to spend. <laughs> wow. Yo, I'm pissed, actually. Donald Trump only sent me 1000 bucks. Well, he sent me he sent me uh, twelve hundred, so I guess he likes me more. I got three dollars and twenty seven cents. Really? Why even send it? Why even send it? Makes Why no even sense. send it? Damn. All right. Well, fam. I'm taking my money and I'm buying a cameo from Zach Rants. Do it. All right. Well, Zach, it was a pleasure. I'm your number fan. My account is now um, at Zach Rants Stan. So uh, find me there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyways, go get your ice cream. Post about it. Yeah. Mwah. Bye. Bye. Later. Thanks for having me. It was a good time. Oh, it was so much fun. Thanks for coming Bye. on. See ya.